This is a recording of an article on Wikipedia and was recorded by user Popular Outcast. The material recorded is current as of the May 11, 2008 revision of the article. Wood Badge from Wikipedia, the Free Encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. Wood Badge is a scouting leadership program and the related award for adult leaders in the programs of scout associations around the world. Wood Badge courses aim to make scouters better leaders by teaching advanced leadership skills and by creating a bond and commitment to the scout movement. Courses generally have a combined classroom and practical outdoors-based phase followed by a Wood Badge ticket, also known as the project phase. By, quote, working the ticket, end quote, participants put their newly gained experience into practice to attain ticket goals aiding the scouting movement. The first Wood Badge training was organized by Francis Skipper Gidney and lectured at by Robert Baden Powell and others at Gilwell Park, United Kingdom, in September 1919. Wood Badge training has since spread across the world with international variations. On completion of the course, participants are awarded the Wood Badge beads to recognize significant achievement in leadership and direct service to young people. The pair of small wooden beads, one on each end of a leather thong or string, is worn around the neck as part of the scout uniform. The beads are presented together with a toque neckerchief bearing a tartan patch of the McLaren clan, honoring William de Boy McLaren, who donated the funding to purchase Gilwell Park in 1919. The neckerchief with a braided leather woggle or neckerchief slide denotes the membership of the first Gilwell Scout Group or Gilwell Troop 1. Recipients of the Wood Badge are known as Wood Badgers or Gilwellians. The following is the listing of the contents of this article. Section 1 Scout Leader Training Course Section 1.1 History Section 1.2 Modern Curriculum Section 1.3 Ticket Section 1.4 On Completion Section 2 Insignia Section 2.1 Beads Section 2.2 First Gilwell Scout Group Neckerchief Section 2.3 Significance of Additional Beads Section 2.4 Other Symbols Section 3 International Training Centers and Trainers Section 3.1 Great Britain Section 3.2 The Netherlands Section 3.3 Australia Section 3.4 Ireland Section 3.5 Israel Section 3.6 United States of America Section 3.7 Philippines Section 4 References Section 5 External Links The following is an info box which accompanies this article and gives a summary of the main information about Wood Badge to supplement the arrangement of information in this article. Wood Badge is awarded in all countries. It was created in 1919. The Wood Badge founder was Baden Powell. The award is for completion of leadership training. The Wood Badge has had more than 100,000 recipients. This info box also contains an image with the caption, Wood Badge beads on top of the first Gilwell Scout Group neckerchief. Additionally, this info box contains a link to the Wikipedia Scouting Portal. Section 1 Scout Leader Training Course Section 1.1 History Soon after founding the Scout Movement, Robert Baden Powell saw the need for leader training. Early Scoutmaster training camps were held in London in 1910 and in New Yorkshire in 1911. Baden-Powell wanted his training to be as practical as possible, and that meant holding it in the outdoors in campsites. World War I delayed the development of leader training, so the first formal wood badge course was not offered until 1919. Gilwell Park, just outside of London, was purchased specifically to provide a venue for the course and was open for use on June 2, 1919. 
Francis Gidney, the first camp chief at Gilwell Park, conducted the first wood badge course there from September 8th to September 19th, 1919. It was produced by Percy Everett, the commissioner of training, and Baden Powell himself gave lectures. The course was attended by 18 participants and other lecturers. After this first course, wood badge training continued at Gilwell Park, and it became the home of leadership training in the Scout movement. An image accompanies this section with the badge, First Wood Badge Training at Gilwell Park. Section 1.2, Modern Curriculum. The main goals of the Wood Badge course are to, one, recognize the contemporary leadership concepts utilized in the corporate world and leading government organizations that are relevant to scouting's values. Two, apply the skills one learns from participating as a member of a successful working team. Three, view scouting globally as a family of interrelated, values-based programs that provide age-appropriate activities for youth. Four, revitalize the leader's commitment by sharing in an inspirational experience that helps provide scouting with the leadership it needs to accomplish its mission. Generally, a wood badge course consists of classroom work, a series of self-study modules, outdoor training, and the wood badge ticket or project. Classroom and outdoor training are often combined and taught together and occur over one or more weeks or weekends. As part of completing this portion of the course, participants must write their tickets. The training includes both theoretical and experiential learning. All course participants are introduced to First Gilwell Scout Group or Gilwell Scout Troop 1 and assigned to one of the traditional wood badge, quote, critter, end quote, patrols. Instructors deliver training designed to strengthen the patrols. One-on-one -on -one work with an assigned troop guide helps each participant to reflect on what he has learned so that he can better prepare an individualized ticket. This part of the training program gives the adult scouter the opportunity to assume the role of a scout joining the original model troop to learn firsthand how a troop ideally operates. The locale of all initial training is referred to as Gilwell Field, no matter its geographical location. This section contains an image with the caption, Gilwell Park's Axe and Log Represents Wood Badge. Section 1.3, Ticket. The phrase, quote, working your ticket, end quote, comes from a story attributed to Baden-Powell. Upon completion of a British soldier's service in India, he had to pay the cost of his ticket home. The most affordable way for a soldier to return was to engineer a progression of assignments that were successfully closer to home. Part of the transformative power of the wood badge experience is the effective use of metaphor and tradition to reach both heart and mind. In most scout associations, quote, working your ticket, end quote, is the culmination of wood badge training. Participants apply themselves and their new knowledge and skills to the completion of items designed to strengthen the individual's leadership and the home unit's organizational resilience in a project or ticket. The ticket consists of specific goals that must be accomplished within a specified time, often 18 months due to the large amount of work involved. Effective tickets require much planning and are approved by the Wood Badge course staff before the course phase ends. Upon completion of the ticket, a participant is said to have earned his way back to Gilwell. Section 1.4 On Completion after completion of the Wood Badge course, participants are awarded the insignia in a Wood Badge bead ceremony. They receive automatic membership in First Gilwell Park Scout Group, called Gilwell Troop 1 in America and other countries. These leaders are henceforth called Wood Badgers or Gilwellians. It is estimated that worldwide over 100,000 Scouters have completed their Wood Badge training. The first Gilwell Scout Group meets annually during the first weekend in September at Gilwell Park for the Gilwell Reunion. Section 2, Insignia. Scout leaders who complete the Wood Badge program are recognized with insignia consisting of the Wood Badge beads, first Gilwell Group neckerchief, and woggle. Section 2.1, Beads. 
The beads, which represent bravery and leadership, were first presented at the initial leadership course in September 1919 at Gilwell Park. The woggle is a two-strand version of a Turk's head knot, which has no beginning and no end, and symbolizes the commitment of a wood badger to scouting. The origins of wood badge can be tracked back to 1888, when Baden Powell was on military campaign in Zululand, now part of South Africa. He pursued Dini Zulu, a Zulu king, for some time, but never managed to catch up with him. Dini Zulu had a 12-foot long necklace with more than a thousand acacia beads. Baden Powell is said to have found the necklace when he came to Dini Zulu's deserted mountain stronghold. Such necklaces were known as Iziku in Zulu and were presented to brave warrior leaders. Much later, Baden Powell searched for a distinctive award for the participants in the first Gilwell course. He constructed the first award using two beads from Dini Zulu's necklace and threaded them into a leather thong given to him by an elderly South African in Mafikeng, calling it the wood badge. While no official knot exists for tying the two ends of the thong together, the decorative diamond knot has become the most common. When produced, the thong is joined by a simple overhand knot, and various region-specific traditions have arisen around tying the diamond knot, including having a fellow course member to tie it, having a mentor or course leader tie it, and having the recipient tie it after completing some additional activity that shows they have mastered the skills taught to them during training. This section contains an image with the caption, King Dinizulu wearing the necklace from which the original wood badge beads came. Section 2.2, First Gilwell Scout Group Neckerchief. The neckerchief is a universal symbol of scouting, and its McLaren tartan represents wood badge ties to Gilwell Park. The neckerchief, called the necker in British and some Commonwealth scouting associations, is a standard triangular scarf made of dove gray cotton wool is available on special order, that has a patch of Clan McLaren tartan at the point. The pattern was adopted in honor of a British scout commissioner who, as a descendant of the Scottish McLaren clan, donated money for the Gilwell Park property on which the first wood badge program was held. Originally, the neckerchief was made entirely of triangular pieces of tartan, but its expense forced the adoption of the current design. The neckerchief is held together by a tan or brown leather Turk's head knot woggle. An image accompanies this section of the article with the caption, Wood Badge Neckerchief with Beads and Woggle. Section 2.3, Significance of Additional Beads. Additional beads are awarded to wood badgers who serve as part of a wood badge training team. One additional bead is awarded to assistant leader trainers or wood badge staff and two additional beads are awarded to leader trainers or wood badge course directors for a total of four. As part of a tradition, five beads may be worn by the deputy camp chiefs of Gilwell. The deputy camp chiefs are usually the personnel of national scout associations in charge of wood badge training. The fifth bead symbolizes the camp chief's position as an official representative of Gilwell Park and his or her function in maintaining the global integrity of wood badge training. The founder of the scouting movement, Robert Baden Powell, wore six beads, as did Sir Percy Everett, then Deputy Chief Scout, and the Chief's right hand. Baden Powell's beads are on display at Baden Powell House in London. Everett endowed his six beads to be worn by the Camp Chief of Gilwell as a badge of office. Since that time, the wearer of the sixth bead has generally been the Director of Leader Training at Gilwell Park. Section 2.4 Other Symbols The Kudu Horn is another wood badge symbol. Baden Pal first encountered the Kudu Horn at the Battle of Shangani, where he discovered how the Matabele warriors used it to quickly spread a signal of alarm. He used the horn at the first scout encampment at Brown Sea Island in 1907. It is used from the early wood badge courses to signal the beginning of the course or an activity, and to inspire scouters to always do better. The grass fields at the back of the White House at Gilwell Park are known as the training ground and the orchard, and are where wood badge training was held from the early years onward. A large oak, known as Gilwell Oak, separates the two fields. 
The Gilwell oak symbol is associated with wood badge, although the beads for the wood badge have never been made of this oak. Wolf Cub leaders briefly followed a separate training system beginning in 1922, in which they were awarded the Akela badge on completion. The badge was a single fang on a leather thong. Wolf Cub leader trainers wore two fangs. The Akela badge was discontinued in 1925, and all leaders were awarded the wood badge on completion of their training. Very few of the fangs issued as Akela badges can now be found. An image accompanies this section of the article, with the caption, a kudu horn. Section 3, International Training Centers and Trainers. Section 3.1, Great Britain. The first wood badge training took place on Gilwell Park. The estate continues to provide the service in 2007 for British scouters of the Scout Association and international participants. Original traders include Baden-Powell, and Gilwell Camp Chiefs Francis Gidney, John Wilson, and until the 1960s, John Thurmond. Section 3.2 The Netherlands Other sites providing wood badge training have taken the Gilwell name. Gilwell Ada's Hove Omen in the Netherlands was the locale of the first wood badge training outside the United Kingdom, held in July 1923 by Scoutmaster Jan Schaap. At Gilwell St. Walrick, over a Celt, the Catholic Scouts had their training. Since approximately 2000, the Dutch wood badge training takes place on the Scout campsite Buttenzorg Barn, or outdoors in Belgium or Germany under the name Gilwell Training. This section contains an image with the caption, Gilwell Liedercursus, the Netherlands, 9th through 21st, July 1923. Section 3.3, Australia. In 2003, Scouts Australia established the Scouts Australia Institute of Training, a government-registered national vocational and education training or VET provider. Under this registration, Scout Australia awards a diploma in leadership to those adult leaders who complete the wood badge training and additional competencies. The diploma of leadership, like all Australian VET qualifications, is recognized throughout Australia by both government and private industry. Section 3.4 Ireland Wood badge training in Ireland goes back to the first large hill of the Catholic Boy Scouts of Ireland, who conducted wood badge courses that emphasized the Catholic approach to scouting. This emphasis is now disappeared since the formation of Scouting Ireland. Scouters must also hold a valid first aid certificate in order to be presented with the wood badge. Section 3.5 Israel in 1992, the Israel Boy and Girl Scouts Federation established the Israeli National Scouting Center in Habit Hazafim, Israel Scouts Ranch. Section 3.6, United States of America. Wood Badge was introduced to America by Baden Powell and the first course was held in 1936 at the Mortimer L. Schiff Scout Reservation, the Boy Scouts of America National Training Center until 1979. Despite this early first course, Wood Badge was not formally adopted in the United States until 1948 under the guidance of Bill Hillcourt, who became National Deputy Camp Chief of the United States. Today, the National Training Center of the Boy Scouts of America is the Fulment Training Center, which hosts a few camps each year. Nearly all Wood Badge courses are held throughout the country at local council camps under the auspices of each BSA region. An image accompanies this section of the article with the caption, Four American Wood Badgers with Insignia. Section 3.7, Philippines. Wood Badge was introduced in the Philippines in 1953 with the first course held at Camp Grazar in Quezon City. Today, Wood Badge courses are held at the Philippine Scouting Center for Asia-Pacific Region, Mount Makiling, Los Baños, Laguna. Section 4, References. There are references available in the written form of this article. Please be sure to verify information found on Wikipedia using the references provided or cross-referencing the information yourself. Section 5, External Links. 
This section includes a list of external websites where you can find additional information on the subject matter of this article. Link number one is titled, Example Ticket. Link number two is titled, Scouts Australia Institute of Training Site. Link three is titled, Sea Badge. Link four is titled, UK Scout Association Fact Sheet on Wood Badge History. Link five is titled, Wood Badge BSA Site Unofficial. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl dot html.